A central Texas man was stuck in the snow for more than an hour on January 10th after slipping and falling while taking out the garbage at his ranch, a ranch at which very few cars drive past. Yeah, he says he thought he would have died had it not been for an unexpected visitor. Here's KVU's Luis De Leon. Expecting the unexpected can be difficult in the peace and quiet of the countryside where there are more cows than cars. I spend as much time as I can at the ranch. And for James Nowlin, Judge James Nowlin, I should say, still practicing at 83 years old, it's safe to say he's always been prepared for the unexpected. I think I've spent a lot more time out there. But nothing could have prepared the judge for what happened on January 10th, a day where Central Texas saw a rare, decent snowfall. Still, Judge Nowlin had a Sunday errand. I normally on Sunday afternoon when I'm at the ranch will take the trash can out. And it's quite a hike too. The gate to his ranch in Red Rock, you could say, is a country mile away from the house. I drove my car down to the front gate instead of either walking. Trying to evade a snowy and slippery cattle guard in front of his gate. But apparently I put my left foot a little bit on the edge of one of those pipe bars of the cattle guard and my left foot just slipped right out from under me and I came down pretty hard. A fall, doctors would later tell him, led to a fractured femur. I knew it was even more serious when I looked and saw that I could not move my left leg. So he dragged himself to his car. I got up to the car thinking I could grab hold of the door handle on the driver's side and pull myself up. I was unable to do that. Judge Nowlin now found himself stuck on the ground, yards and yards away from his ranch where no one else was home. He didn't have his phone on him either because he was simply taking out the trash. No one to hear him, no one to see him, and no way to call for help. That is, until... You know, you gotta keep your smiley face. An unexpected visitor came along. So you gotta keep trucking along. And uh, not every day is the same. Longtime Austinite Alicia Infante delivers packages for Amazon. I was pretty much familiar with um, Austin, Round Rock, um, you know, uh, Buda. But her snowy route on January 10th brought her to Red Rock. I never go to Red Rock, ever. I was turning a corner and something told me, look to my right. And I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a spirit, an angel. Something drew her attention to Judge Nowlin, who'd been out in the cold for more than an hour. I saw a man frantically waving his hands, and um, he had a lot of blood on his hands, and I knew he was in a lot of trouble. I passed him because I couldn't break immediately, obviously, and I passed him, so I just reversed and I stopped. It was absolutely freezing, and all he had on was a sweatshirt and some jogging pants. She quickly grabbed her phone, called for help, threw her jacket, among other things, onto Judge Nowlin to keep him warm and keep him talking until medics arrived, noting that not a single other car went down that road while she waited with him. When I saw him, I thought, that's somebody's grandpa. I know something or somebody put me there. I know that for a fact, because I, I know what I felt. And I know a lot of people don't believe in faith or they don't believe in stories like this, but it's real, you know? Somebody sent me there. Judge Nowlin believes she saved his life. An angel and a saint. So yeah, I believe that I would have uh, probably perished if uh, she had not come by. Doctors performed surgery on Alan's leg, and he's still recovering. But he wondered. Was it anything that I could do to help her? Leading to yet another unexpected surprise in this story, this time for Alicia. The only thing that I could determine from the conversations that she had with some of my relatives and other people close to me was that she was trying to buy a car. I haven't had a car in seven years been riding capital metro <laughs> so judge nowlin made a call to his friend rox covert of covert auto group i remember telling him whatever the cost was and that I'm, I'm happy to bear the cost and i just thought i don't 
deserve that, you know? Maybe like a thank you card or a steak dinner, or I'll take that and we'll be good. <laughs> Alicia now with a new car of her own. Judge Nowlin forever grateful. You know, in this day and time with all the problems we've got going on in this world, it is an indication that there are good people left in this world. Expect the unexpected. You never know who you'll find. We need more kindness right now. For KVU News, I'm Louis Stillione. She was there for a reason, Jake. I got chills watching that I story. I love that story. Amazing work there. Absolutely.